Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Candidates Cards on the Table. This week we're going to be focusing on proposals related to health and to begin, here's Renel. Hello everyone, our first candidate uh, proposed the following. First, a focus on the prevention of transmissible and non-transmissible diseases. Second, uh, the promotion of healthy habits in order to prevent obesity. Third, operate uh, the entire health system using big data. And fourth, more formalized employment means more contribution to the health system. So just the more vulnerable people will, will depend on subsidies. Well, a good thing about these proposals is that there is a focus on prevention and not in a reaction. And a negative one is that uh, the proposals are too vague in terms of how we make a transition to online and big data and uh, how to prevent the obesity. Okay, hello everyone. Our second candidate proposes first working towards equality of services for contributors and those on subsidies. Also a model of preventive medicine or preventive family medicine and guaranteeing that the health system has enough qualified staff by strategies such as paid medical internships, also developing a pharmaceutical a policy to promote innovation and limit the cost of medicine and finally the regulation of the system to provide uh, state institutions with more power to oversee the processes of health entities and a good point is that this model of preventive family uh, medicine and equality of services is a good idea a nice idea that is needed in Colombia and a bad thing or a bad point is that the proposal about the health system and about the staff specifically doesn't gar guarantee the efficiency of the system itself and the idea about innovation in the pharma uh, is a bit vague. Hello everyone, our third candidate proposed this, the following. Strengthening the system by creating indicators to demonstrate which entities are performing badly. Tightening the conditions for the creation of EPS entities allowing users to choose which entity they belong to and focus on preventive health approaches such as improvements in lifestyles of citizens and environmental conditions. A good thing is about making it more difficult to create EPS entity because it's too easy now. And a bad thing is that people can already choose their EPS entity unless the candidate is talking about elderly people or terminally ill patients. The fourth candidate proposes a preventive public free health care without discrimination by moving towards a single public health system. This one will be decentralized and will include indigenous and Afro-Colombian councils. Uh, private administrative and financial involvement in the, health, in the health care sector will be gradually removed with the liquidation of the EPSs and IRL systems national programs to deal with the biggest public health issues like pregnant, pregnant women and children, public nutrition, attention for victims of the armed conflict, and an integrated approach to drug use. And finally, more control and regulation of the price of medication, putting pu public health system and the right of health above commercial interest. A good thing is that it's non-discriminatory, and a bad thing is that the local management uh, has been a problem in Colombia with corruption, having in mind that this candidate wants to remove the private administration. Hi everyone, this final candidate wants a health system more focused on prevention, so his proposals are, in the first place, dedicating money to treating preventable diseases by promoting healthy lifestyles, the right attention and efficient procedures that will help avoid many unnecessary deaths. In the second place, private and public entities forming a national network and working together and providing services based on the needs of the region with constant vigilance from the citizens and local authorities, being paid in accordance with the quality of the service they offer. So a good thing is again the focus on prevention and a bad thing is that the plan for a national network is very vague. 
Okay, we've heard all of the proposals related to health. In this episode, the format's going to be a little bit different. Rather than revealing the identities of the candidates, we're going to leave that up to you, our viewers. So follow the instructions uh, with this video and post your responses whenever you can. Thank you. Woo-hoo! <laughs>